All right, so last video, I did express my concerns for this game and its weapon leveling and how slow it is, but that's not stopping me from getting camos, even in this very underwhelming zombies mode. But today, we are be getting our MP40 Gold Viper. Also, if you want to see me get any weapons, Gold Viper, make sure you leave it down in the comments below, or just gold in general, any camos in this game, I'm going for. But like I said, the, the weapon leveling has taken a while, but I did end up getting it to the level that I needed to. And I've also knocked out a bunch of camos along the way. Where's my mouse? So here on our MP40, I I have the shredder blueprint on still i could probably just swap it out i don't think it matters too much but if we go over to our camos i am completely done with tack optics or pack optics what is it called which is 4,000 eliminations which is a crazy amount of kills i mean it's not too bad it's very mind numbing though our crits have been lowered down to 800 critical kills and we got that knocked out in the first day actually why does it say i have zero what it says I have zero, but we're done. Okay, maybe it just does that when we're done. It, I don't know, actually. This one says 4,000, but 4,000 pack a bunch kills. We still need 16 rapid kill medals. So we're going to need to get to a decently high round. And by decently high round in this game, I mean like 10. So it should be pretty easy to get done. I just need to be conscious of that. Also, Deadeye, I need to get 2,000 eliminations with an equipped covenant. And so I figured out with the covenants that the ones that get kills are Brain Rot and Cryo. But while we were streaming today, Epic let me know that I think it's called Unholy Ground. One where you just stand still and you do more damage while you're standing still that is the best covenant for knocking this challenge out so if you're going for this challenge be on the lookout for that covenant also thank you to epic for letting me know that that is a huge help because brain rot doesn't do too much and cryo barely ever kills we also have to get berserker done which is getting 100 boom shrieker eliminations i'm at 80 right now so 20 more should be pretty easy wildcat is done this is 20 sturm krieger eliminations that's just the lmg guys the guys that pull up with like the death machines those guys are pretty easy to kill survivalist 2000 eliminations with seven attachments equipped pretty straightforward we got that done also these camos are beautiful i really wish that uh that there was a way to take the wear off of these weapons and see this like once you get it gold uh i was talking to my friend sam not samuel 17th my boy sam boom slayer he said it would be cool for specific weapons like when you need to do like the specific attachments get headshots get long shots things like that but there should be a button here in the gunsmith to automatically apply those attachments to your weapon i agree with that but also we were talking about once you get a weapon gold you should be able to have a setting to where you want it worn like this where it's all scratched up or you want it flawless just no scratches on here i think that would be perfect and that would make using a lot of these camos a lot better and i think i'm going to use one of these because these are very very pretty i'm going to go with the, the rosary actually that looks really nice then we have our mind game camos here which is get three or more rapid critical kills 30 times very nice these camos also look really nice a lot of these like before you get to mastery camos are, are pretty good I, I like these a lot and then death artist which is get 20 or more consecutive kills 20 times which is basically just jackrabbit kills these camos are also very nice this one reminds me of megatons back in cold war so that's pretty cool a lot of these are just like the ink pool things like if you've seen those videos pop up on your timeline of just people putting things down in a battle of ink pulling it out and then they have that cool pattern this is what that reminds me of so pretty cool stuff we got a little bit to do here so let's go ahead and hop in game on dare afrig what is this called also before we hop in game i'm getting a little ahead of myself i'm using the f8 stabilizer this barrel this light reflector this stock this groove grip this magazine and the stife angle grip actually i think i might change the magazine to the 64 round drum just so i'm not reloading as much i really don't care about my attachments right now and i know you can get 10 attachments in like multiplayer can you get that in zombies does anyone know how to do that because i already have my weapon fully leveled up but i still have three attachment slots here so i don't know what's going on maybe it's just because i'm using a blueprint or something let me check a different weapon let me check the weapon in another class mp40 nope still seems like just seven so let me know if you know how to get all 10 attachments on but i am going in with frost blast as well but let's hop on dare and fang I don't, I don't know how to say it. Let's just go ahead, hop in, get these done. All right, here we are on Dare and Fang. Uh, there's no kind of intro cinematic or anything. You kind of just hop right in. You go to the main hub here that is on the multiplayer map Red Star. Honestly, the the main game here in Zombies, there's not a whole lot. Yeah, everybody knows this. This, this Zombies has been pretty disappointing, but it's also not flushed out or anything. I feel like if they add more content to this game, the Zombies will be nice because the core gameplay mechanics and everything is a lot of fun. Like, this is probably one of the best multiplayer CODs I've seen in a while. The movement, the engine in this game is perfect. I love it so much. But the zombies definitely needs more content. And I don't I don't think anybody's denying that. But over here is where we get our covenants. So Cryo Freeze, Death Blow, and Ammo Gremlin. We probably end up grabbing Cryo if we had a heart. I think we can get those by just completing these events. But when you are grinding camos in this, what you want to do is go to a harvest event. Now, when you're in the harvest event, you don't want to actually put the ruins into the machine. You just want to sit there and kill zombies because they will spawn infinitely until you do that so that's pretty cool 
that's what i've been doing to grind these camos out but we do need to pick where we want to go and since it is only wave one i don't want to go to a harvest event and kill a bunch of zombies on round one the spawns are gonna be too slow there's gonna be too little zombies so i think we will do a transmit event just because that is that's pretty fast we can get that done and then get our covenant going pretty quick here so hopefully we can get a nice covenant also there's a whole lot of characters that pop up in this like on the side like how dr peck would and all that and i have no idea who any of them are i've seen somebody pop up like vaughn and most of the time when he pops up he's just grunting he's just grunting so i think that might be our, our public enemy number one but for now let's go ahead and escort this little head drone thing whatever the hell it is i think you could use a mode like this to grind as well i don't think the spawns are as fast just as long as you like stay within the area but away from the orb it won't move like if i go right over here it's not gonna move unless i'm next to it I hop next to it and it's on the move again. So you can use these to, uh, to grind, but I don't think they'll be as good. I don't know who this court effects guy is, but I, the designs and everything look cool. This, this game is very graphically beautiful. Like it looks real nice. It has all the core mechanics here. It really just needs more content. A round based map in this game would be so fire. So hopefully we get that sooner rather than later but i'm i'm completely fine grinding out multiplayer camos as well until we get to that but i think that's it we already completed that that was so easy all we need to do is follow a ball around and kill like 20 zombies belicar belicar looks cool too the designs in this game are nice like the perk fountains look pretty cool everything looks good it just we need more stuff come on also i have heard of some of your comments saying like there are screen tears and stuff in my videos i did end up getting a newer capture card that goes directly into my computer the reason for the screen tears before was because of uh the refresh rate on my monitor being higher than the refresh rate that my capture card can actually record like receive and record so now i have a newer one it should be fine hopefully there's no more screen tears but yeah i, I heard your concerns and and uh hopefully it's fixed let's open this up what we got a decoy decoys are kind of fire in this game they last for a long time let's get a few kills while we have the time honestly if there's not 10 zombies near each other i do not care let's check on our covenants scatter fest don't want that deal more damage to slow or stunned zombies that might help it's probably better than dead accurate successful shots do the same oh maybe dead accurate is probably better i'll well, grab that because if a headshot's not killing instantly maybe it helps i don't know that's probably our our, our best bet besides the slowed and stunned now that we got double points is there any zombies around that I can kill? Okay, here's a few. Get some points going here. But while we have a second, can we go in here? All right, let's get stamina up. The first part tier is always going to be free. So we can pick that up. And then when we go down, we will lose a tier to our perk. So hopefully we don't go down. But now we have stamina up tier one. Is there any other perks that we can grab right now? I think quick revive is out here, but we can't get to that until we do that transmit event. Yep, there's quick revive. And then Jug's the other way. You know what? Let's do Blitz and we'll go get Jug next. All right, so here we are in our Blitz objective. Basically, Blitz is like a holdout round in uh, Outbreak. So all we gotta do is survive in here for whatever time it gives us. And we can also grab our Speed Cola. What's it, what's it called in this? Demonic Frenzy. I'm pretty sure Speed Cola is like Demonic Haste. It's like Demonic something. But they're basically the same as the, the older perks. All we got to do is survive in here, which is pretty easy at round two. I'm actually going to try to train up and see, because I'm pretty sure in a lot of these objective modes, there is a, like a limit on how many zombies can spawn at a time. So you can't just sit here and train them all up. But if we can get up to 10 and get at least one medal, so we're getting some sort of camo progress here. That'll be great. I think we're almost at 10. But training in this game is a little weird. It seems like when you run past a zombie, they go for a swing, whether it's fast or slow, and they kind of get all staggered. Is this 10 zombies? It's almost there. We have 11 seconds though, so we better just start taking them out. We got a slaughter medal, dead eye medal. Is there a 10 kill medal? Oh, there we go. 10 rapid kills, 35 times. Carnage is what we're looking for. So there we go. Blue racer camo, easy. And we completed our blitz. Very, very simple stuff here on the first few ones. This guy looks sick too. In Invictor. Why don't we just call him Victor? This is going to open up for us. Thank you. Let's grab Jug Tier 1. We're not going to upgrade any of these perks until we have enough to, uh, like, pack a bunch, maybe twice. But I have been seeing a lot of people, like, shitting on the, the zombies camos in this game. I like Gold Viper, and I like the Plague Diamond in this game. They look real nice. But Dark Aether doesn't seem like a Dark Aether. I think it should have a different name. Like, I have no problem with the camo, really. I mean, I'm not, like, excited about it. I don't think it's bad. I, I think it should just be called something different. Like, someone was saying, like, Chemical Waste or something. Or Toxic Waste. Something like that. I think that would be a more fitting name because the dark aether in this is so clearly red that the camo should be red if it's called dark aether like there's literally red crystals here red glowing outside i feel like they switched it to green just because it got leaked as red like they're just like ha huh, guess what you got your leak wrong i don't know i rubbed me the
the wrong way. Also, not having pack punch camos or any of that kind of sucks too. So hopefully that all gets added when season one comes out. But let's check on our covenant. Unholy ground is what we want. Deal more damage when shooting while stationary. That is the one you that you want. Brain rot is also one to get, but it doesn't seem like brain rot lasts for too long or gets procced like as often. Let's get a few kills here while standing still. Easy. So we have a blitz event and a harvest event. I honestly want to go over here and do this blitz event because this will open up the door to dead shot and then we can get one more perk down. All right. Now we're, we went into Blitz over there and it spawned us over here. It's a little wonky right now. I really hope they improve upon this because this, even this mode with more stuff could be better. There's so much upside to this game that just a few updates could fix. We have like a minute 20 to survive in here. So I'm just going to stand right here and wait for the zombies to come to me. And while we're doing that, we can get our covenant eliminations by just standing still and shooting. Still no elites or boom shriekers spawning. So no boom shriekers. Oh, wait, as soon as I say it, there's one. There we go. And a nuke. Did not want that. But now we just need 19 more boom shriekers. And once we get into the little bit of a higher rounds, like past, I don't know, six or something, they should spawn pretty frequently. But honestly, despite there not being so much to do in this zombies game, I'm kind of having fun grinding these camos. Like it's extremely brain dead. A lot of the time you're not doing too much, just shooting. But it's still fun. Like it's a nice grind. And the gold viper in this game looks so much better than in Cold War. So I'm excited to see it in person in my hands. Oh, there's another boom shrieker. Goodbye. 18 left. Oh, 17 left. I literally have not moved. I'm just sitting here shooting. And there we go. Another blitz round done. Let's just collect all of our loot and we're all good to go. I think I've been saving that harvest round because once it gets to a higher round and more zombies spawn, we can just sit in there and, you know, rack that up until we can get pack a punch too. Because once we get back, we can get pack one. First, let's grab pack a punch. Normally, this is where I'd show off the pack a punch camo but it's literally not in this game what about our covenant abilities bloodlust melee attacks do more damage and heal you mother load high chance to keep equipment after using it and shatter fest enemies killed by explosion have a chance to explode i don't really want any of these so i'll just save my heart for now oh a boom shrieker there we go you like to see so we need 16 more oh those are corrupt soul camo corpse soul 1400 eliminations with an equipped covenant so our covenant thing is working for sure there's another one down i love seeing boom shrieker spawn another one i'm like dj Khalid at this point he probably reads better than i do let's walk around the map and make sure we're not missing any boom shriekers because sometimes they just be spawning in other places hello anyone in here there's a boom shrieker easy oh there's another one jeez those boom shriekers do a lot of damage is there any other ones i don't think so but since we did do our last blitz over here we can finally walk in here and grab dead shot or what's it called diabolical damage and then i guess we'll oh it's a transmit event now not a, a harvest hopefully we'll get another one soon but transmit's fine we're not even at a high enough round for harvest to be worth doing anyways all right start moving little head guy i'll give you a concussion if you don't come on go ahead get moving now thank you also this is shino numa i personally have never played on this map uh round base wise but there is a round base map in here. I don't know why they didn't just turn this into a round base map. Maybe they didn't have enough time. I don't know, but this would be cool. I'd be down for this. Where am I even supposed to transport it to? It's literally gonna stay in like the same area. Like why does it need an escort to move from like upstairs or from downstairs to the upstairs deck? Like how much further can this thing go really, truly? Oh, down the stairs over here. We're, we're breaking rules and it's about done. Sick. I wish zombies gave better XP. The XP you get for playing zombies like weapon XP and normal XP is pretty criminal. You get like a very low percentage of what you would get from playing multiplayer. Like it is so bad. If we do that often enough, a friend will come to us. Did she just say if we do that often enough, a friend will come to our aid? I feel like that's not in the game yet. Whatever she's talking about is not in the game. All right, open up. Thank you. Let's go get quick revive. Take a little drink. Okay, now we have a harvest event. Oh, are we done with our boom shriekers? Or are we just move up a, a notch? I think I just saw a camo pop up. Let's go walk around and see if there's any more boom shriekers. Also, let's check on our covenants. I gotta remember to check that out. On holy ground, let's upgrade that. Let's go. Call the weak, deal more damage to slow or stun enemies. I might as well get it. I mean, what's this gonna hurt? by boom shrieker we got to be like less than 15 boom shrieker kills away all right there's one right here stay back thank you let's make sure there's not any more scattered around the map honestly though we can kind of round up all these zombies around the map and get a nice rapid kill i think that'll help just round these guys up you are too slow to be in the group i'll let these zombies chase me out and we'll lead them on over here we almost have enough zombies here to get a rapid kill metal they're being very slow at the moment i think we can just go for it now the slaughter metal dead eye 
And carnage. There we go. We need to keep our carnage metals going. All right, zombies back up. I need to use the crafting table, please. Uh, let's upgrade our armor to one. We can't get two yet. So you do upgrade your armor at the crafting table now. Pretty weird, honestly. Well, it's looking like the only event we can do is harvest. So we'll go in there, hang out for a bit until we can pack a punch two. And then we'll come back out and hopefully be able to work on some more camos. Honestly, we could sit there and knock out our covenant, but I think it's gonna be pretty slow on round five. So I just want to keep going until we get up to round like, I don't know, at least 10. I don't think I've done this one yet. But basically, if you want to just grind camos in here or grind camos in zombies at all, just leave this here. Don't put any runestones in it. This thing will move twice. So you put it in, it'll move once. You put it in, it'll move again and then to its final location. Most of the time, I just move it to its final spot because that spot seems to have the most spawns usually. So that's why I'll do that. But if you just don't put any runes in, zombies will just spawn infinitely. You can sit here for hours. If only you could pause this game, you could get up to a nice high round and then just sit there and relax. I got some camos. If you got to go, you know, get food or something, Something, just pause it but no no pause feature yet which is unfortunate all right i'm throwing them in just so we can get them to the last location now we're in this room the nice little camper room that everyone in multiplayer likes to go to it's nice and bright in this room there's a boom shrieker gone we gotta be getting close to finishing off our broom boom shrieker kills speaking of boom shrieker those things blow up so violently it's insane oh no there's a big boy dead i don't like this area just sit and try to farm at so i'm gonna load these in it's definitely way too unsafe in this spot also, there's a full armor or max armor. It still shows Carpenter as a thing. Pretty weird. And we have enough runes now. Let's load it in. But hopefully this last spot is better than the other ones. Oh, it's downstairs. Let's see if the spawns are faster down here. It seems like it's going to be a little safer. And we can just sit here until we have enough to get packed too. Oh, there's another fucking... There's another minigun guy. Stay back. Owned. Uh-oh. I put myself in a very bad spot. We still need to get these uh, slaughter medals or the 10 kills rapidly. So I'm going to let these guys come on in here. Please stop hitting me. Let's head this way. Well, they're coming down this hallway. We'll light them up. There we go. Is that 10 kills rapidly though? I don't think so. No, that didn't look like 10 kills. All right, let's try this again. That doesn't look like 10. That looks like just barely less than 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight zombies will spawn at a time in here, which sucks. So let's just get these kills. These ones are spawning in very fast, so we'll kill them. Did that work? I don't think so. Maybe this will. If we're right out of spawn. What is this? Double points? Easy. That'll help us get pack a punch a lot faster. Oh, there's a carnage metal. Let's go. Massacre. This is looking like a good spot to do this. Just have to look left and right. And as long as I'm staying still, I'm getting my covenant bonus as well. Easy camos. Another massacre metal. Yeah, this has got to be the spot. We can knock out our rapid kills right now. Just until we run out of ammo, which is probably very soon. All right, let's grab some ammo. There's also an insta kill. Let's go. All right, since the spot's pretty nice, I'll get a few more kills here. And then we'll head out. Because we do have enough for pack a punch too now. Oh, looks like there's a lot of zombies down the hall. We'll take them out. Oh, let's go. That should be 10 kills rapidly. Oh, level 55. Let's go. Are we prestiged? We got a covenant camo right there. Delicious. Actually, as long as this is giving us a decent amount of kills at a good rate, we're good to stay here. I need to get this ammo though. Oh, they're hitting hard. It's frost blast. Was that a max ammo? Give me that. Might as well get a few extra dollar dues, and then we can uh, upgrade our perks a little bit too. Actually, the spawns seem to be slowing down a bit. I think they're spawning on way on the other side of the building now. Yeah, it might be worth it just to leave. I'm going so back and forth on this. It's hard to know whether or not you're you're set up and good to just sit there and grind or not. I mean, obviously we could, but I could be way more efficient. Yeah, I think we'll just grab our ammo and leave now. Sorry, boys. Just need that ammo from you. Thank you. All right, let's leave. We got plenty. Oh, we got a calling card too. Maybe that's our 5,000th kill with pack punch camos. It's pretty easy. Oh, bonus points. Come here. Let's go. All right. What's our covenant this time? Shatterfest, Cryo, and Bloodlust. Maybe I'll get Cryo instead of Cold of the Week. There we go. Let's go ahead and get pack two. Looks like the only thing we have left is Blitz. It keeps showing us that we have 5,000 kills with pack punch weapons, like every time we get a kill. But before we go to Blitz, let's go rally up the troops again. I'm also gonna get a little bit of jug. Maybe two little bits of jug. Get that boom shrieker out of here. Yep, every time I get a kill, it's saying I get 5,000 pack punch camos. Oh, but we're done with our boom shriekers. Let's go. Let's get 10 zombies all put together here because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be what holds us back. Let's walk them on over to these other zombies. Come on, guys. Seems like there's a lot of zombies in the building. Let's go say hello. Oh, there's a big man in here. There we go. 
It's going to keep showing us that we have 5,000 Pack-A-Punch. So I'm pretty sure that's going to happen the whole game now. Did not look like 10 Rapid Kills, though, which is unfortunate. Let's try to get every zombie in this building chasing after me. What's up, fellas? Gamers, how's it going? The big machine gun man that I will kill before I do anything. Gamers sitting in the chairs. That's what I like to see. Are the rest of them coming? Or just these three? No, it looks like the rest. Come on, guys. Let's take this outside, shall we? Did they all stop chasing? No, it looks like they're still coming. At least a few of them are. Yeah, it didn't look like all of them followed, but I guess we can take these guys out. Not wasting a whole much more time. That wasn't even 10 kills. All right, we're just wasting time at this point. Let's go ahead, hop through the portal and do another blitz. Oh, you know what's stupid? I should have kept the other, what is it called? Covenant? While also having cryo freeze, because I'm pretty sure it's like do more damage to enemies that are stunned or slowed. And then cryo slowing them. Oh, that would have been a good combo. I'm a... I'm an idiot. But also, maybe the, the headshot damage does more or helps us out more. I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to stand still right here. These early round blitzes are so easy. You know what? Actually, let's just train 10 of them up. How many spawn in around here? Looks like three here. Four, five, six, seven. Is it really only seven zombies at a time? Is that less than last time? That's stupid. All right, I guess I'm going back to the strat of standing still because apparently this is more efficient than trying to train the zombies up and kill 10 of them fast. Get a whole lot of slaughter medals, though. This is helping so much. Our covenant kills are going to be so high up. We're going to be like master chief for these covenant kills. What is going on over there? It's like a yo-yo. Uh-oh. I shoot it. Got him. And it's over. Wow, very exhilarating stuff here. All right, let's see. Brain rot, shatter cryo. We'll upgrade cryo. There we go. Oh, there's a big dude. Let's take him out. Gotta make sure to stand still while I'm doing it. Are 10 zombies going to spawn over here? I don't think so. What is this? Nice little pistol. Oh, it's pack two. Let's go. These machines look so cool. Can we upgrade our armor at all? I hardly ever use scrap in this game. I forget it's a thing. Here we go. All right. Another transmit event. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's keep it moving. I don't got all day. We need to get to an event where more zombies are spawning. We get these rapid kills and these covenant kills. Jeez. This is probably one of the tougher ones to do, especially if we get to a higher round. These are some very small walkways. I guess while we're here, we'll upgrade Deadshot. Never mind, I'm too broke. Is that it? Oh my god, these ones are so easy. All right, let's take a look. What have we got in here? Don't need any of these. Oh, what? oh, that's cool. He glows whatever color is the highest covenant that they have. So there's a legendary covenant, so he glows gold. That's pretty cool. Can't pack three, but we do have a harvest event, which is perfect, so let's do that. All right, for this one, what I like to do is I'll fill up the one right here, and then it goes down to here, and I'll fill this one up, and then by time, it gets all the way over here. This is where the spawns are super fast. Let's see if we can get 10 zombies to spawn at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight looking like eight so far maybe it's just eight so we'll get these guys killed maybe they'll instantly start spawning in hopefully there we go is that 10 fast is that 10 rapidly i don't think so well i guess i'll just stand up here until we're done or until we can get it to our, our spot oh there we go what is that 1800 so we're very close we have 1800 kills with our our what is it covenant i don't know why i can never remember 1800 with our our halo shit whatever it's called so we are very close only 200 more kills while standing still and then we just need to get our rapid kills okay our runes are full let's load them in there we go and now that it's moving down here these kills will be a lot faster because these are basically the only two spawns right here and right next to me we will be able to get these kills pretty fast i think oh gotta reload it sucks that ring of fire in this game does not let you shoot from your ammo pool like it really sucks let's take him down take all these guys down that had to have been 10 kills rapidly come on we need to figure out a strat for right here. Oh, a self-revive that I can't use because I already have one. That's cool. Now, let's do this. We'll get all these zombies grouped up. We'll get them near a spawn. We'll take them out and then try to immediately kill the zombies in the spawn. There we go. That had to have been 10, right? There we go. So we've done it 40 times. We just need to do it 10 more. With our Luistic camo, whatever that is. We'll just loop around right here. Get our kills. Whoa, does, the, does that painting move getting shot at? Look at that. There's got to be something with... There's got to be some, like, Mario 64 Minecraft thing going on here. Maybe if we shoot enough paintings, they'll fall over and reveal a hidden room or something. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe when they eventually add the Easter egg, that'll be a thing. There we go. A massacre. So basically, we just need to stand right by this door. And then we'll get this all done. This is sick. We're slaughtering. I think if we stand right here, they all spawn at this door. Oh, yeah. We're racking up the rapid metals now. We should get Gold Viper super soon here, then. We got to kind of let them in a little bit, though. So we can get that ammo. Oh, there's Virtulence. What is that? What camo is that? Oh, this is super easy. Super simple. I think we found our new strat for these rapid kills. If we ever get this harvest round, this is the one to do. This is a spot to be at. Was this double points? We'll take that. Just in case we aren't done, then we can get pack three. 
I think we might be done here in a second. There we go. Another Carnage Medal. So we got to be close on both of them here. We're getting so many Carnage Medals. I feel like we're already done and we just need our Covenant kills now. Max ammo. That's what we like to see. Oh, Hemoglobin. Is that it? Yeah, so we're done with Covenant. I feel like we have Gold Viper now. Why didn't it pop up? Maybe we're just a few Carnage Medals away, but... I saw a camel pop up earlier. Because we're all done with our, our, what is it? The, the tormentor type things. We're for sure done with our covenants. What else could we need? Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Let's go. Half tone. Show me gold viper. Let's go. Our first gold viper. I think that's our first gold camo at, like in this game. So we did it. There's insta kill. Let's go ahead. Finish this harvester and exfil and get out of here. One thing I will say that this game did do right is that you can exfil basically on any rounds after it's available, which is pretty cool. I don't like having to wait every five rounds. I like the option to always be there. So if you're done, then you just leave. All right, let's see. Any cool covenants in here? Unholy ground legendary, we'll take that. Zombies back the hell up. Also dead accurate. We will upgrade ours. Let's get our armor all good to go. And then let's exfil. We have nothing else to do here. So we'll, we'll repair it. Everything else is good. Let's exfil. So exfil in this is pretty weird. It's literally just get 40 kills before the portal opens. And once the portal opens, run into it. So pretty basic stuff. Let's go ahead and get these kills. Oh, there's a big dude. Honestly, let's go upgrade our stamina up. We got time. Let's use this. Get him taken out. Upgrade stamina up with the rest of our money. So that way we're super fast. There we go. Tier two. We're on tier three now. Get tier four. Tier four is the max tier instead of tier five, like last game. 18 more enemies. Honestly... Exfil might be good for the Carnage medals. Probably not good enough to get 50 of them. Three more zombies. There we go. Portal's open. Let's leave. Don't even care about the rest of you. Actually, I do care about you. You need to die. Okay, goodbye. Let's get out of here. Let's go. We made it out with our first gold viper. Mission accomplished. Easy. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Let's go. We finished that with almost 1,000 kills, 952, 534 critical kills, and our score was exactly 10,000 or 1,000, something like that. All right, let's take a look at what this thing looks like with the zombies mastery camos. This is our first mastery camo, Gold Viper. I really, really like how Gold Viper looks in this game. Also, I really like how the inspect or the gunsmith lets us preview the weapon, and we can play the little animation. That's so clean. This Gold Viper is so much better than last year's. I don't like that that old Viper pattern, but this, a nice blotchy topo almost like pattern on it with that red, shiny, almost crimson color. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. This is what the weapon looks like with Plague Diamond. I also really like this Plague Diamond. It's basically just diamond with that rose gold on it. I'm pretty sure that's what the color is, that, that pink, that metallic pink. Looks very nice. This Plague Diamond, super, super clean. But the diamonds up close don't look too great. They look like gray instead of diamond-like. Hopefully, they're shinier in-game when I have it. And then also, this is the MP40 with Dark Aether. It says I only need to get two classes, so we might have to speedrun something. It says for all weapon classes, we're one out of two, so we should uh, get that done. And it also says we're one out of two for SMGs, so maybe if we get one done quick, we can get this done. But really quick, this is what it looks like with Dark Aether with the preview animation. Very clean, actually. It kind of almost looks like a watermelon, like a cartoonish watermelon, but I'm sure this looks a lot better in hands what let's go see what gold viper looks like in game i'm really excited i'll see you guys there all right this is what gold viper looks like in game for that mp40 this looks super super clean i really wish there's an inspect button in this game but there's not so we just kind of have to hold it up and reload. Ooh, dirty. That dirty nasty. I really like this gold viper so much more than last year's. I just wish there was an inspect. Put the inspect in the game. I know Modern Warfare, it took a while for them to get an inspect the animation too, but we need one now, please. But you can really see the pattern on the gun. Very nice and up close. It's obviously embossed or meant to look that way. It's really nice. The color on this is good too. Very shimmery, as you can see as we move it around. The metallic has a nice little pattern on it. And also we're here on the map Oasis. This map looks beautiful, but I hate playing on this thing. This map sucks. Looks cool though. But there you have it. That is our first ever mastery camo here on Vanguard. We got our MP40 Gold Viper. If you want to see me do a different gun, make sure you leave a comment down below suggesting what weapon I do next. But with that, we're going to have to end the video here. So if you guys like this, do you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.